Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. And I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. I spent a few days off to spend it with family. We all had a wonderful time and I hope you did too. Hopefully you'll have a very happy and prosperous coming New Year. Over the holiday, there's been a series of earthquakes off of British Columbia. There's been more earthquakes than the seven that USGS is uh, posting. They evidently only post the significant earthquakes. Here on Earthquake Canada, they have a lot more that they have posted. You can see some along the coast here. This is where we have the Juan de Fuca fault line and the Cascadia fault line. We got spreading that's been going on. Yeah, USGS isn't reporting the 3.6 to 5.0. I don't even think they're reporting the 4.8. Evidently the shaking started on Monday, I believe it was, but the recent 6.3, 44 people reported feeling it. Uh, none of these earthquakes um, supposedly have produced any damage and there's no tsunami warning. Here you can see that the fault line moved and we got spreading. The initial first wave of the earthquake the P wave came in from the uh, northeast. Tension was applied going east. Yeah. On geoscope, here's one of the larger earthquakes. You can see that the fault line moved. And then on another one, you can see how the fault line moved before and afterwards. This one here is a 6.3. This one here is a 5.7. Again on Geoscope you can see the 5.7 that was on the 23rd, uh, the 6.3 that was yesterday. Those are the only two that Geoscope is reporting on. You can see them all listed here going all the way back to uh, November. The 6.0, 18 people reported feeling that one. You can see there was no spreading of the fault line. Um, yeah, some slight dipping down towards the south. P way came in from the north. That's the first uh, wave of the earthquake that people often hear just before the shaking starts and tension was applied. Going east again. Three people reported feeling the 4.8. USGS doesn't have a moment tensor ball for that earthquake. The 6.0, 13 people reported feeling that earthquake. We have spreading again. Uh, but this time tension was applied going towards the Juan de Fuca fault line. See that? And the P wave initially came in from the south, supposedly. The 5.7, two people reported feeling that earthquake. Tension was applied going to the Juan de Fuca fault line. We got spreading. The P wave uh, came in initially. The first wave of the earthquake came in from the north. The 5.2, Four people reported feeling that earthquake. Again, tension was applied going towards the Juan de Fuca fault line in the west. Pressure, the P wave, came in initially, um, originally from the south. The 4.9, now that was on the 23rd. One person reported feeling that earthquake, and that's the first one that USGS is reporting. Tension was applied uh, going towards, again, Juan de Fuca. Uh, the P wave we have initially uplift for the very first earthquake that USGS is reporting. And like I said, all these earthquakes started on Monday, and today is Thursday, December 26th. But you can see in this area, um, Earthquake Canada has a lot more reported. And right there is a 5.0 and a magnitude 4.9. And there's also a uh, 4.8. Now the 4.8, that was on the 25th, that was yesterday. All right, so using Google Earth, this is the Juan de Fuca fault line out here. Here is the Cascadia fault line. I don't think the earthquakes are over yet. You can see they're increasing in size from the initial 5.2, the 6.0, 6.0, 4.9, 6.3 and 4.8. This area is capable of having a magnitude 9 or greater earthquake. You guys know that. You should be prepared for that. 
So did any of you up there in British Columbia feel these earthquakes? If so, please put your comments down below. Thank you for your support. Have a very happy new year and a safe new year. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.